Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just an epic duo in love that loves some epic rap battles of history. Hell yeah, we do. And I'm really curious about this one. So it's Fight Night Friday, first of all. And we're doing Fight Night Friday not only on this channel, but over on Definitely Not Definitive Games as well. And today we're doing epic rap battles of history. So it's a battle of, of the words. And um, so this one is Michael Jackson versus Elvis Presley. And we're doing this because the Elvis movie is coming out this weekend. Ooh. Yeah, and so uh, it's our, our, our little celebration for this. And um, so we'll see. Doesn't mean Elvis is gonna win this one. All right, we gotta, we gotta see. The way we do rap battles of history is we're gonna watch it the first time just for fun. And then after that, we will scientifically break it down using all of our knowledge of uh, you know music and rapping and battles and epicness. <laughs> And then we'll just let you know after each verse who we thought won and, uh, and why we thought they won. And just have fun with it. I'm super curious about this one because in elementary school, I was really into Elvis. Mm, and, I didn't know that. Yes. I was really, first time I'm hearing about this. I was really into Elvis. I had Elvis cassette tapes. I had like the best hits of Elvis that I would listen to. Uh, and I know you kind of grew up on Michael Jackson. So we're, we're both coming at this with a point of knowledge about one of the artists. Um, I will admit that as an adult, I tend to listen to more Michael Jackson now than Elvis, but... I'm curious to see how this one shakes down, or shakes out. Raps I've I've seen. I mean, yeah, just uh, the the impersonation of, of both of them was just spot on and uh, really good. I mean, like you know, from like I guess a caricature way, uh, of, of, it was spot on. But I mean, I just uh, yeah, I loved yeah, I loved it all. And just I mean, wow, what cutting raps! I mean, mm -hmm. nothing was off the table. They they yeah. really um, they took it to each other for sure. Yeah. Um, I have to admit, at, at one point I was like, oh, I think this is going to be pretty easy to call it. Nope, it wasn't, because then one came back. And, mm -hmm. you know, so it's like, that's really good. Because I don't like it when I know it instantly, like, oh, it's pretty obvious who wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not as thrilling then, but when when it's a matchup, <laughs> it's a lot more fun to try and dish out who actually is worthy of, of the winner's title. Agreed. All right. Like your hair with a Pepsi 
commotion. Uh -oh. I can tell her angry, but I can't comprehend it. I stole from black culture. Why are you offended? Your daddy beat go wreck and daddy like alchemy. Don't make me spank you and dangle your ass off a real balcony. I'm oh. Ooh, damn. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, I know who I got. Who, who you got? Minnie Jackson. Ooh, really? I got Elvis on this one. Really? Uh, yeah. I thought the Pepsi commercial one was good, with like you know, him lighting his hair on fire, him dinging his kid over the balcony. Ooh, um, yeah. I thought that was another good one. And then also, like I think I think Elvis brought it at the end. Um, the third one was uh, when he's talking about his dad beating like the gold records out of him. I mean, I, that was just it was so cutting. Um, and it was like he, he, he was a kid, but he didn't hold back against that kid. No, he definitely didn't hold back. That's for sure. Uh, I think I was just super impressed by Minnie Jackson bringing it and, and cutting in his own way so viciously. Mm -hmm. um, his thing about stealing from black culture and, and, and like the rockabilly cheese, like you stole yeah. rock and roll and give us rockabilly cheese. I just, I don't know. There was, there was something about it that just, I'm like, you know, no one's mystery. He's... He's got them a little bit there, so yeah. What I liked about both of theirs is it was very uh, on point with their brand of yes. music. Like the way that it was rapping, but it was still rapping like in their style. Yeah, it was stylized rapping, which was a really good choice. Yeah, and very and not easy to do, and um, did it very seamlessly. So again, I'm like I'm just incredibly impressed by uh, the raps in these. The lyrics, the flow, the 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 acting, yeah, um, I think is really on point for this one. So this is definitely uh, I don't know this uh, this might be their best one that we've seen so far. Um, but now we gotta get go on. Let's we gotta see. go on. See, round round two. I wish there was the third one. I don't like when there's not three. I don't, I... Yeah, you like you need a tiebreaker. Yeah, I mean come on. Okay, let's go. It's about time for a thriller. Didn't lose any chocolate. I just added vanilla. I'm going on. <laughs> I just added oh, vanilla. Okay, the Michael Jackson portrayal in this one was really great, and um, I really enjoyed his his rhymes and his and, and his raps, and uh, you know talking about how the fact that like he's the king because he's the king of pop, and uh, also his fact that he, like, he married uh, Elvis's daughter Marie, and um, in the end I gave, I gave it to Elvis because Elvis came back at it. It's like the only reason I let you marry my daughter is because I knew you wouldn't bang her. And that one, that was like I'm like ah, oh, like that, that did that seal the deal? I'm like that one might have sealed the deal. But yeah, what'd you think? Yeah, for me, round two went to Elvis. Okay. Um, I I loved how Michael Jackson started it off, and and really after he went, I thought, well, this is just MJ all the way. Yeah. For sure. Um, I didn't expect Elvis to come back with quite the the cutting on point raps that he did, mm -hmm. and it changed the game for me. I mean, it. Yeah, I mean, it was the whole. I want you to marry my daughter because I know you wouldn't bang her. That was. Brutal. Yeah. Um, I love his mic drop and Elvis out. Yeah, um, yeah, that was leading the building, yeah. Which was which was nice. I'm trying to think of what else it was that really really cinched it for me. I mean, it was definitely the daughter stuff, just because he he was clapping right back at MJ's dig about Mary, meeting his wife at fourteen and then yeah. meeting one daughter. Um, which was a great dig. I yep. mean, you you met your wife at fourteen and then you made one daughter, she came to me. Like that's <laughs> that's beautiful for rap. Elvis just came back in a way I didn't expect. Yeah, I mean, for me, I I like uh, Michael Jackson more than uh, than Elvis as far as uh, music wise. It's just, saying, um, but for this for this rap battle, uh, Elvis won, um, and it's it was closer than like so. I gave both rounds to Elvis. So it's you know two to nothing, but like I feel it's a closer battle than that. The score would re would reflect. Uh, at least in, in my scorebook, you know, like it was just like, you know, battling the rounds, okay, it's two nothing, but like based on every, everything else, you know, it's just, um, I feel like they both had a lot of great digs at each other. Um, both actors, again, like I said, just knocked it out of the park. I, I like how the first one was like old school Elvis, like, you know, black and white and young Michael Jackson. 
and then they both progress to the different stages of their careers. I thought that was a nice choice too. Yeah, I love the evolution of, of both characters for yeah. sure. If we were to tally up the score at the end of this, it's 3-1 in favor of Elvis, mm, which yeah. definitely doesn't sound right. But who do you think won? So, I mean, like, in my, I say Elvis won, but like, you have 1-1, one, one, but if you had to give a tiebreaker, who would you give the tiebreaker to? I would actually give it to Michael Jackson. Because right. after his second, right. second verse, I was pretty sure that, that it was sealed 2-0 Michael Jackson. Um, and I didn't see Elvis coming back the way he did. So, so for me, I was impressed both times very significantly by Michael Jackson. Okay. Whereas Elvis really just impressed me enough in the second round to tip it over the edge and give him the point. All right, you'll let us know who you thought won down below in the comments. And uh, if you want more epic rap battles of history, we got a playlist down below in the description of this video that you should check out. And just keep in mind our reaction for this epic rap battle of history fight night Friday, Elvis Presley versus Michael Jackson is definitely not definitive.